All right, you guys. So the first screenshot that we're gonna go over is this Patrick Ewing screen, man. Checking out a young Patrick Ewing opposed to the older version of Patrick Ewing that was in last year's game. You can already tell that they're trying to make a leap forward in the ugliness of this man. But let me let me just say let me just say that Pat we all know Patrick Ewing was oof, was one of those guys. Like he was getting the coup. Don't get me wrong, but it wasn't being thrown at him like that now. God damn. But that's, that's, that's a pretty good depiction of a young Patrick Ewing. I see that they gave him a little, like, swag, but they still gave him the Widow's Peak. Like, that's what we doing, 2K? <laughs> All right, so the next screen that we're going to go over is David Robinson. Okay, so this is a young David Robinson compared to an older David Robinson. Now, the thing about the Admiral in this pick doesn't look really anything like him. I mean, the lips, like, goddamn. But I mean, his lips was big as shit, but I mean, bruh, like really, 2K. But uh, the NBA 2K17 version, Young Admiral looks really, really good. Not gonna sit up here and lie. I mean, you know, to have something without a face scan and you have to create it on a fly in a next gen game to make it look realistic. Like, I wonder how many photos they had to go over to sculpt these players. Like, legit 2K17, Admiral looks good. Hewing looks good. All right, so this is probably the most controversial screen of the entire trailer. The new Kevin Durant build makes Kevin Durant look like he's probably 97 pounds, soaking wet. But in NBA 2K16, he had a lot of definition to him, which made him look a little bit bigger than he really is in real life. Like legit, I met KD, skinny and tall. That's what you get with him. You don't get bulky. You don't get, you know, definition. You don't, you don't get none of that. You get skinny. That's what that's what I've seen in Kevin Durant. And the depiction of NBA 2K17, they did a good job on the, the face skin. They did a good job on the hairline. Did a good job on the hair. The beard looks a little bit better. I think 2K is still trying to figure out this whole hair physics gimmick. That they got going on like some of it be shiny some of it be dark you know the way the light hit it just don't be right sometimes but i think that the 2k17 durant looks better than 2k16 durant just saying all right so the next screen that we're gonna go over is paul george i think that they really didn't do that much to paul george's face scan as well as body scan i think he kind of looks like the same player a little bit but um i did notice in the usa basketball men's team screen that they put out that he looked a little bulky but when i was looking at the trailer let me see if i can find it real quick like in this he doesn't look mad bulky you know he, he doesn't look like he has like the crazy broad shoulders like the the incredible hawk strength you know what i'm saying don't look like he got veins coming out of his neck he really looks a lot similar to his 2k16 version except that his hairline is much more precise crisp I think that they really brought in somebody that knew how to deal with hair and stuff like that for like the shape ups and you know little designs and stuff that people put in their hair but for the most part Paul George looks kind of the same all right so this is probably one of the best upgrades for a player from last year's version to the new version NBA 2k17 and Draymond Green looks a thousand times better than he did in last year's game a thousand now i know that they probably were kind of off with like the skin tones and stuff like that but in this year's game he looks a lot better man a, a 10 times better let me see if i can find that emotional moment real quick this right here looks crazy like freaking crazy man like this eh -eh. This right here, you definitely get a thumbs up from me. All right, so now let's talk about Carmelo Anthony. I think that Carmelo, within every year's game, like no matter what platform it comes out on or what company makes a basketball game, Carmelo just has never been made the right way. I mean, I don't know, but it's just something about him and his, uh, his whole scan or something like that. But in this year's game, I think like it's a massive upgrade um i think that you know this emotion shot it's not really what i wanted to see because i really can't tell too much 
different type of points but i think that this is pretty dope like i just like this whole flexing of the neck like the veins popping out i just love that look at the screenshot i couldn't find the same type of screenshot for nba 2k16 but i can already tell you that we know now that nba 2k17 graphically is better than last year's game all right so let's talk about magic for a moment um i think that magic in every year's game is always like kind of the old magic um they sometimes make the younger magic card or whatever but i think that the young magic and 2k17 looks pretty dope um i found a screen of the older magic with the with the beard and everything like that the little goatee but i think that the, the young magic looks pretty dope in this game um let me see if i can find another screen of them. like i mean same widow's peak same type of hairline I mean, I can see that 2K didn't want to, you know, go too far off the rails, but you know what I'm saying this young magic looks pretty, pretty good. Like I, I have no, you know, hate or ill will towards the screenshot of him in this trailer. So I know what you all have been waiting for, man. Y'all all been waiting for this goddamn MJ. The thing about this MJ, man, the younger MJ, the older MJ, whatever MJ you say, they have not face scanned this guy into a game and every year you know they try to change the way he looks with the goatee and everything like that the, the hair everything and a lot of people couldn't stand the way mj looks in this new game for 2k17 but when you look at nba 2k16 like what like what can you say besides i mean this is just gonna happen every year i mean mj is not gonna be able to get scanned and there's nothing that you can really do about it. Now, I'm sitting up here looking for different screens, and I don't think that I'll see another MJ yet. Not close enough. And that's young Larry. Yeah, so you won't find another MJ screen because this one is where his back was turned. So, yeah, man, like, this MJ, and a lot of people had problems with this saying that, why didn't you give him a, a straight-on face uh, angle? I mean bro like this is what you're gonna get like young mj this is kind of young mj but you can already see here like how dark skin he is in this picture compared to this like of course we already know that people already have this blemish right here and they kind of tried to put that right here in this one but i think his skin tone is 10 times better all right now this is the last comparison of this video uh i tried to get different screenshots from the trailer of larry bird but it was really, really hard to get a, a actual straight on face screen of this guy. But looking at uh, Stax's uh, thumbnail that I seen from his video, like you can already tell, like this, this character, I would say looks better than the NBA 2K17 character. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. But uh, let me see if I can find the other. OK, this is of him shooting. OK, now see that man like I could barely get a good. A good shot of his face but you can already tell like come on bro like nah this ain't this ain't this ain't the young larry man let me see if i can find another screen of him um okay and there goes another shot like i just nah like i mean when you think about it like this larry was probably the younger larry of course but i think that this screen it was not what nine two i think like this was the like a older larry bird like so, I mean, I guess they tried to, you know, probably put some age progression on them, but nah, it didn't, didn't go very well, as I would say. Watching everyone, if you want to check out my previous video, it is a live stream of me catching ankles brutally. And uh, if you want to check out the random video of the day that is of my NBA 2K17 wishlist, that will be part one. It is a series on my channel. You can go ahead and click the playlist inside the description. Make sure you check me out on Facebook, Google Plus. I even do have a SoundCloud page. I also stream on Twitch, and you gotta hit me up on Twitter, baby. That's where I live. And make sure you subscribe to me on YouTube. Peace.